Hello and welcome to another tutorial that I'm doing. Today this tutorial will be for Nightski Beauty. She asked me, or he, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but he or she asked me basically how to burn the um, Nintendo Wii games and where do I burn them from and like how do I know they work and stuff. I can't tell you, <clears throat> I cannot tell you, like show you how I burned them and make them work on the Wii because currently my Wii broke so when I get a new one and I got my camera I'll be able to show you that but until then I'll just be I'll just go ahead and show you how I do it normally how I like check out if it works or not so what you want to do first you want to have the dolphin emulator which is this right here <coughs> it's basically an emulator for the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo GameCube you can just go to their website uh, where is it there it is <coughs> right here dolphin emulator dolphin emulator dot com and just go here download download whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit or mac os x whichever one that you use <coughs> they still haven't compiled the 64 bit as you can see right here but that will be coming soon i'm pretty sure and so yeah download if it's 32 bit or if it's 64 bit or whatever and once you do that you want to go well or i download all my images from Wow, advertisement. Where I download all my images from is the Pirate Bay. <coughs> the, and people go ahead and say, Oh, but the Pirate Bay sucks. It's nothing but torrents. And well, if you live in the USA, then you know how the soap and people thing went. Or people? Is it people? Prevent Internet Privacy Act. Yeah, it's people. And the color scheme on my windows has changed. Wonderful. Anyway, <coughs> it's people. People and so but then you know, like a lot of websites got blocked off for oh piracy, even though the act really didn't go through entirely maybe it did I didn't see it go through <coughs> but <coughs> websites like mega upload got shot shut down and stuff and various other websites that I got my content from so I had to resource to this pirate bay and I mean it's not even all that bad you know you just search up whatever you want like I don't know a uh, super mario galaxy f2 x's and uh, god damn it there we go super mario galaxy Look at that. Then just hit SE, and then you got Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario Galaxy 1, and you just go ahead, pick one, download it. What is this? It says, <coughs> read what it says, platform, we, uh, it's, they have it in Spanish, English, French, Italian, and German, so I'm guessing it's going to be four ISO files, but I'll just go back and download this one because assumingly it's the English version. This one right here. Yep, language English. 1.3 gigs. Um, you know, make sure it has a lot. Of, you always want to make sure it has more cedars than leechers because if it has more leechers than cedars, you're going to get really slow download time. So this one has 90 cedars. So that's basically the people who are leeching out, <coughs> who are leaking, excuse me, who are leaking out information to your computer, like all the files, because basically how torrents work, they come in. It's basically you just downloading a whole bunch of bits and pieces of the file. And what the torrent application does is it's, it stitches those pieces together as it's downloading them. So, and you're downloading from multiple computers across the world or across your region, your server region, whatever. So, yeah, that, this, that to me, I see, is way better in terms of downloading. So... Gonna go ahead. Oh yeah, and first you want to do is download a torrent um, program. I personally use uTorrent. If you want, you can go ahead, go search it up on Google. uTorrent. This one right here, a very tiny bit torrent client. Click it. I will have the link in the description. Don't worry. Just hit get uTorrent free download. Or if you want, you can buy it. It comes with apparently virus protection and plays more formats and converts file popular devices and yeah that stuff I just got it free I don't need all that stuff but yeah cuz like normally you don't really need virus protection like that's the main reason why I told you about hitting this up here cedars because chances are if it has a lot of cedars which is basically which is basically that's how many people are have it on their computer and are just letting it out like this one right here has 403 people seeding it. That's not that's not even how many people have downloaded it. That's just how many people have it on their computer right now and are leaking it to other people's computers. 
So if there's that many people leaking it, then I mean, I highly doubt it's a virus because if it was a virus, it'd probably be like that, like one person leaking it. Or maybe it's just a bad file. Who knows? But yeah, just go ahead, download it. Download uTorrent. I'll have the links in the description for Pirate Bay, uTorrent, and the Dolphin if you want <clears throat> or need it, actually. And then I can't really show you because I lost my dongle for my um, Bluetooth on my computer. But basically, you just want to go ahead, <clears throat> have a USB dongle, like, I don't know, like, you know, little Bluetooth thing that, like, if you have a wireless mouse, then I think you should have one. Just use that. <clears throat> and then it has um, a tutorial on how to connect the Wiimote to your computer right there. See, just put in the Bluetooth device, click on it, put add device, and then you should be, and then I think it's like you press the one and two button. Yeah, see, press the one and two button on your remote simultaneously. So press them both, hold them, and then the LEDs will start blinking, and then it'll pop on your computer. Oh, the device has been found, and it should be named Nintendo RVL, whatever. And then there you go. That's how you know you've connected your Wii remote to your <coughs> computer. And then you just want to go in Dolphin, and by default, oh wait, wrong one. And then by default, it should uh, have your stuff configured. Yeah. Okay. But. And. <clears throat> then what you want to do, you want to get the sensor bar. Usually, what you can do for the sensor bar, if you want, you can like plug up your Wii and then <clears throat> put the sensor bar on top of your computer monitor and then use it like that because basically what a, this is a huge misconception that a lot misconception that a lot of people have they go ahead and think that the sensor bar is what's actually using is what's actually displaying your little Wii remote cursor on the screen this is a huge misconception it is not all the sensor bar is is at the ends of the sensor bar oh, let me, um, I believe it's <coughs> here all it is is two LED lights, I believe. That's all it is. It's nothing special. It's just two lights. And it, then the Wii remote, it detects these two lights either at the bottom or the top of the screen. And once it does that, <coughs> it'll go ahead, it'll receive the two light sources, and the Wii remote actually collects the data, and the Wii remote sends it to the Wii wirelessly. So the sensor bar doesn't do anything, it's just two lights it's not really doing anything if anything I would say that you could just have two LED lights on top of your monitor like on each side of your monitor I don't know but yeah so <clears throat> let's see how this is going this is already at five percent yeah so I'll let that continue downloading and I'll come back when I'm done oh look Camtasia yay is this is this back on? It is back on. Okay, so we are back, and uh, the download has finished. So now, what you want to go ahead and do? Well, <coughs> actually, let me go ahead and close out Dolphin again. Um, so this is my folder. You you want to go ahead and select the folder where you want your uTorrent to save the stuff to. So I have it right here, uTorrent, and where is it? Where is it? Um, there it is. Super Mario Galaxy Two. So go ahead, just drag that out to the desktop or whatever, and then I go emulators, GameCube, Wii, and then just go ahead, double click it, and drag that in there, and it'll start processing it so far. And this might be taking a while too. Wonderful. Um. Well then, I'll be back when this is good, done. <laughs> wow, that made no point in recording, huh? Okay, so we are back, and is it recording? Yes, it is. Okay, so we are back, and the Mario Galaxy has just finished extracting. So we're gonna go ahead, put it in the folder where the Dolphin emulator is located, which is in here. And now we can close that, launch Dolphin. And you're going to come up here where it says open file. You're going to click that and then right there, Super Mario Sunshine. And there it goes. As you can see, it's working completely functional.
Mario! And now let me tell you a new story that also begins with Stardust. Blah blah blah. Okay, so there you go. <clears throat> that's how. That's my way of saying seeing that it works. And so yeah, once you've done that, just go ahead, take the ISO file, um, burn it onto the disk in your disk drive. I can't show you how to do that right now because I have to buy a new disk drive because the other one got messed up. Also, I'm telling you, just all my stuff is breaking. But anyway, so there's that. And yeah, I hope the information helps. And if you're getting lag, well, I mean, I'm I just use the emulator to test it. I don't really actually play the games on there. I might though in the future, but <clears throat> for now I just use it to test the emu to game to bleh, to test the games and to make sure that they work. So go ahead, do that, download it, download the game file, which you should already have if you're trying to burn it. And, yeah. So, hope that helped. And, well, yeah. <laughs> Peace. Oh, wait, F7. Is it F7?